assure you there's more laughter to come. So what better time than now to relax our nerves, maybe not necessarily um, loosen the tie yet or remove the cap, but it's a good time to laugh. So uh, let's welcome together digital creator, content creator, comedian, Casey Kinsley Igombo. Igombo. Good morning and welcome. So nice to be here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like people are not in this Nigeria. You are just so sweet, smiling. Mm. Are we all buying food at the same amount? <laughs> we buy more. I buy more. <laughs> it's so nice to be here. Very Absolutely. wonderful place. Um, Daddy, I made it on channels. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> proud moment. Yeah. And we're proud to have you too. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So in, in a space that, you know, it, you, you're thinking um, is increasingly narrowing for real jokes, yeah. for niche in the comedy space, we have you. And so I'm wondering, I've been trying to, you know, find um, details on your journey and I've not been able to get uh, that much of information. So, so tell us, everyone has a story. Tell us about KC, the comedian. Oh, thank you very much. First, um, I'm an accountant by profession. What? Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm an accountant, a master's degree holder from University of Lagos, um, um, marketing major. Wow. Yeah, so um, stand-up comedy is an elite art form. Mm. Yeah, it's an elite art form and is not for elite art form yeah wow it takes a certain level of intelligence to Absolutely. do stand up I, mm. I and stand up is one of the hardest art, art part of art because it's life there is no cut there is no edit mm. is is we call it firing squad as you are giving your joke you're getting the feedback <laughs> <laughs> so there is no cut and join there is no editing so when you finish as a stand-up comedian, you don't ask people how was my performance. <laughs> yeah. The result is you, you, you see him. You get zero by you, ten. you see him. You see him. So so I started um, while I was in the university. I had a trauma group in my um, in my fellowship. So from there, you know, started getting jokes here and there, and you started putting it together and. It starts from my group of friends. Like, if I if something happens on campus and I come and give you the gist, you would think I will have added all the condiment. I didn't know I was adding. You know, you're doing something, but because you are not skilled in it, you don't know what you're doing. Right. So, but with time, um, with working with um, experienced comedians, watching other comedians perform, learning through the ranks, and I've come to become a better stand-up comedian and I'm so happy about that. And one with a, a unique, um, a, a niche also. Uh, yeah. It seems as if you have, you've been had done by by estate agents before. Uh, see, see, Lagos agents every, every year, Lagos agents, mm. they plan that, uh, how many people are we going to key <laughs> looking for a house? So they will not decide 50,000 people will die this year looking for a house. Because the thing about Lagos agent, you know, Mr. Kiki, you know what you are looking for as a house. You know. But Lagos agent know what they want. <laughs> you understand? And they necessarily don't. No, be... when you tell an agent, I'm looking for a room and a parlor, you will tell your guy, you don't need that. You don't need I know what I will give you. And once they tell you, pay and parking, run. Wow. They've not done the foundation. <laughs> so that is how Lagos agent. And the thing about Lagos is because the population is high. Everybody is looking for house. Right. So, and my friend, they gave my friend house. Toilet, kitchen, and bedroom was in the same space. <laughs> no way. You know the funny thing? The agents say, calm down. <laughs> now me choose them. Once you use the toilet, you bath, you eat, you go out. <laughs> and it makes sense. Right? <laughs> so, the, for everything you want, they have explanation for you, you understand? My friend said he was looking for a house in a serene environment. He, they took him to Aton Cemetery. <laughs> They say very serene, no noise. Just, just, just serene. Your neighbors don't make noise. No, 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 no. Lagos agents are. Wait, is it inside Aston Cemetery? Inside. Nearby. They say just stay here. You don't need to pay agency, agency and damages. You understand? Just lie down and sleep. You understand? And the thing about um, agents in Lagos, you must try as much as possible to. Um, get an agent that is experienced, that is a professional. Don't get roadside agent, because those right, those um, roadside agent, they are like um, multi-level marketers. 
This one will give you the number. This one will give you the number. By the time you get the house, get to the house, they've taken it because it's like seven people uh, that's on true. one that's property. True. You understand? <coughs> they, they were showing my friend. By the time my friend get to the house, the person that took it has already packed out. You understand? <laughs> so they have to start looking for the house again. You understand? <laughs> so that's how it is. The thing is, I had an experience. I what it was an experience I had while I was looking for a house on budget as a single man. You know, I'm just starting life. Mm -hmm. And now, you know when you want to look for a house in Lagos, you start with pride. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, you, you start, have that you, Yeah, when, when I really got married, I was like, ah, and I called my agents. As I'm looking for something in the heart of Lekki. And I was speaking <laughs> English like you. Know, <laughs> something in the heart of Lekki. I want my master bedroom to be facing the ocean. You understand? Gee. I like good things. So. <laughs> Even though there is no more, but I like it. You understand? Mm. I want the dining area. I want where I can park two cars. You understand? I, you understand? The guy now asks me how much is my budget. I say everything. Everything. Everything plus damages. Everything. Let's be looking at 650,000. You cost it. <laughs> the, way, you cost the way you <laughs> laughed, that was the way the agent laughed. He said he will arrest you tomorrow. <laughs> so, and now, you know when they give you price, that is when your taste will start reducing. So, the, I now ask the agent, like, um, what can I get with this, my brief? How much? He says seven million. I was like, there's nothing really in Lake Hill. True. Not, <laughs> when you think about they it, they don't really have water. Yeah. <laughs> Can you, can you move closer? Did you change your story? <laughs> yeah. As I'm speaking to you, I'm, I'm staying somewhere here on the mainland. Somewhere. Tell us, please. Yes. It's just boundary with Ogun State. <laughs> Be more specific. Yeah. Well, if you take jetty from that place, it's yeah. 30 minutes to island. It's not far. Go deeper. Where yeah. You can call it Ikorudu, something like that. But it's in between. <laughs> You know, it's quite interesting when you say mm. uh, comedy is an elite art form. Yeah. And I think I've said this a lot. Yeah. I respect comedians. Yeah. I, I sit you. down and I watch comedians and I'm like, this is not easy. They don't, I, I don't know if maybe you do get a lot of, you know, credit for the work you do. Maybe not as much, but I think that comedians should get more, much more credit for what so, you do. So uh, for my genre, which is stand-up, we are getting that because a lot of comedy clubs have started opening. Nice. Comedy clubs are like our studios. That is where we go try out new materials. That is where we go try out new jokes for our big stage. You understand? And people don't know that a joke can take you five years, ten years to create. Um, one of my colleagues, XRK, tipped, um, he has a special on Netflix now. Um, the material he did for his last special was... He curated those materials for over four years. A one hour special. So it, it, it's a whole lot of work that go into stand up. Like, re, my wife didn't know what stand up was all about. When we got married, I'll be rehearsing at night. Ah, I was like, on a day rehearse. Wow. So maybe I would, you, you would just take mic and start. I say, no, there is a science to it. There is a science to how you do it. Every, every, if, every stage is different. I can come to a show now and the whole atmosphere is different. All the routine I've written cannot work. I have to start writing, observing, checking what will work here and there, start editing. That's the whole, and the, all these things I'm telling you are within seconds and you still have to come and deliver. It, it, it's amazing. I totally agree that a comedy demands a level of intelligence yeah. because your observation has to be apt ah. for you to be able to represent. So, in a most patriotic form, yeah. we've been through a lot as a country. What is funny about Nigeria? Oh, Nigeria is funny. <laughs> if not because of comedy, I'm not sure we'll be alive. And we have a way of, um, we have we use comedy as a coping me mechanism. If something happened, no matter how bad it is, we're going to throw the humor part of it. It's a blessing in disguise somehow, but as, uh, also as an individual, like, can we just face this thing and let's know, you understand what I'm saying, but sometimes you have to, you have to bring out humor out of pain. Like, like you, you have to, you have, humor is humor. It come, you have to laugh about everything. I laugh about my condition. I laugh about everything. I used to work before. Yeah. Until motivational speaker told me that I'm bigger than my salary. <laughs> you understand? That's how I lost my job. Oh my how I, I was not. You know, if you don't have work, everybody in your area know. 
Mm. I didn't go to work for two days. Ah, my neighbor come here. In case you didn't go to work, I said I'm on leave. He said no problem. We are counting it. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, and it's when you don't have work, everybody in your company will be sending you a message. I was at home, my neighbor called me. It's like weather is changing, you know, help me to pack my clothes. You know, it can be painful. It is painful. <laughs> your neighbors will be calling, ah, my children just closed from school, help me to pick them. And you know those small children that are God with joy. They are Uncle Casey, you're always at home. You understand? These are my pains you are laughing. You understand? So when you presented it to you. You understand? They will not say, help me to cook in the meal. My mother said, you should not put salt inside. I, they ate it, they have running stomach. It's not my fault. You understand? That's, so, comment. Comedy, comedy, you have to, even with this new minimum wage, you understand? My wife is telling me that, you see, they want to increase minimum wage, you need to, you understand? I say, do you work for government or are we working? You understand? <laughs> so, you, you, you have to find a way of being, being humor out of every condition. And especially now, we need the humor in Nigeria to go through these trying times and we come out as a nation. Yeah, I'm, trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to survive this kind of... <laughs> And he doesn't look it. Mm. So, yeah. so, it's hard to believe that you're an accountant. <laughs> so the funny thing about people don't believe I'm a comedian, that if they see me until I get on stage, I like that element of surprise. Yeah. Like it's, I, I like that Watch element. Me. You look of, very corporate. Yeah, yeah, I look, I look, I've worked in a corporate organization. I've worked in an insurance industry. But you Na didn't cooperate, obviously. Uh, Nigerians are the worst people to sell insurance to. <laughs> <laughs> when you tell them that, ah, I'm, I sell insurance, so when you die, <laughs> one day, yeah, when you die, so what will happen? You understand? There was one man that was paying premium. He got to a, he said, can I just die and wake up? Let me just collect some. Collect this. <laughs> you understand? That makes sense. You understand? So, Nigerians are worst people to sell insurance to because anything that consigns debt, we don't want to hear it. You understand? <laughs> so that's the, that's the way. That's how we you, do. You know, how hard as the job uh, is, you make it look so easy. You know, I, I've been trying to control myself and get my next question across, and what brings me to this um, about how it comes naturally to you mm. as against the hard work involved. Because sometimes you see some comedians recycle jokes. Yeah. And you probably heard a joke, you know, at another forum yeah. from the same comedian. Yeah. And you, you don't laugh the same way you laughed at it the first time. Yeah. So how hard is it, you know, the work that you put into to um, you know, get the jokes? Like it, it's flowing like a river from you right now. Okay. The best advice I've ever heard from any comedian was from basket, not directly to me. He said it to somebody. You have to take this work like nine to five as a stand-up comedian. You wake up in the morning, tune into channels, what is happening. You listen to the news, you watch the news. You, you have to pick something. So you understand, you have to be, it's work, it's work. You're as good as your last performance. And it's not the same people who watched you at your last place of performance are watching you now. So if you are not funny then, to them you're not funny. And you have to be on your toe. You are not like a musician that, ha once you have a hit track, you can do it eight places. You understand? At the point, it will be the audience that will be singing for it for you. them. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's the one that used to pay me. <laughs> I would go and pay for concert, I will be singing it. Why did I pay? You understand? So that's why comedy is different. You have to be, you have to be working. It's work like, for me as a person, I'm at, the, I'm at comedy club Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Like, I have to be in that space. Mm. There is an issue, I have to talk about it. In, in the, there is this law of repetition for a comedian. Um, if I, talk about, keep talking about an issue, something will strike. Mm. Or oh, I'm discussing it with my group of friends and I'm talking with people who are not comedians, like just having a regular conversation. You will say one funny thing that you don't know that is funny. So as a comedian, I won't let you know. Just, mm. You I'll pick it. I'll yeah. just pick it. So you're very... Uh, uh, yeah, you have to be... Uh, you just pick it. I, I just pick it and I just keep quiet. I want you to do something, Casey. Yeah. Uh, well, you can tell us where we can find you, both online and okay. offline. You talked about the comedy yeah. club, but I want you to speak something into existence. Mm. Um, I know Nigeria has been able to create big comedy talents, yeah. but they say that the beautiful ones are not yet born. Yeah. And I imagine that the even bigger ones are being grown right yeah. now. So who is Casey? What kind of... How big a comedian would you be? 
do you see yourself being? Is it for Africa globally? I want you to speak into existence. Okay, um, this is me, your next door stand-up comedian touring the world, telling Nigerian and African story with my talent. Where can we find you? I'm on Instagram at Comedian KCCFR, um, on Facebook at um, KC Comedian. That's it. In person. If you want to f touch and feel KC, where do we find you? Come to um, SX Comedy Club. That's KCCFR. Yeah. yeah. Um, SX Comedy Club, JJC, um, VI. Life Lounge VI um, on Fridays. All oh, right, all oh, right. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We need I'm sure to, we need to just find know where all to of find those you. on your social media platforms. Yeah. Thank you. We are super proud of you thank and you. grateful that you could come. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And so we look forward to seeing you on the big stage, bigger stage, yeah. perhaps the African continent, maybe even global. Most definitely. Thank you so much. And uh, all the best with your house haunting. Thank yes. you. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. All right. So thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Uh, endeavor to laugh all through the day. You need it. We all need it. And we'll be back again tomorrow to give you another bumper harvest of the morning brief on Channel's television. I am Bukola Koka. Challenges uh, will never go away. So if the freedom you seek is freedom from responsibility, you will never have it. So brace up and just find joy in anything you do. Thank you for watching. I'm Jeff Rosama. And we promise you that no house agent was harmed during this production. Okay? <laughs> we still love you. I'm Kaido Kikilu. Sunrise Daily is next. So stay with us right here on Channels Television.